Evernote's app for your phone or tablet is amazingly powerful, especially if you know some of the settings that are a bit hidden. Hi, Dave Edwards here. We're going to walk through those settings in just a moment. Lots more Evernote tricks and tips are in my course, Evernote for Beginners. Now, even if you aren't an Evernote rookie, I know you'll find it a good review and it'll probably give you ideas on how you can use the Evernote app to its max. Check it out at DaveEdwardsMedia.com and click on Courses. So as I said, a lot of attention is given to the web app, but when I'm away from my office, I've got the app on my phone optimized so I can do nearly everything seamlessly. So let's take a look at the app for my iPhone. Once you log in, you're on the home screen. On the bottom left, you see three lines. That'll take you to the menu screen. Now, click the wheel in the upper right, and that will take you to the settings screen. That's where we're going to spend our time today. The first option is account. That's where you find details of your account, including how much data you've used. The next is camera. If you want to save your pictures that you take uh, using the app on your camera roll or just use them with an Evernote, your choice. The next option is device setting. When do you want to use dark or light mode? That's a matter of personal preference. The create button gives you options on how you display buttons on your mobile app. The notes app is next. A lot of good stuff here, such as advanced editing. Do you want your lists numbered? Do you want a checkbox next to lists? A divider can be enabled so that when you type three asterisks or three equal signs, you get a divider. Do you want the web links to be links you can actually click on? I find that very helpful. The same thing with email addresses. You can turn them into links, so when you click on them, it will automatically take you to an email draft. Code blocks and shortcuts for displaying tables. How do you uh, want to view links and attachments? You want to add a little protection for your notes from accidentally erasing parts of them. Not a bad idea. If you want the satisfaction of seeing a task crossed out when you complete them in tasks, well, you click this. I like that feeling. And finally, do you want your note to begin with the title or a body of a note? That's where you start. I start with the body of the note, but that's personal preference. Links and attachments. You have an option for setting a default notebook. Everyone I know sets it to an inbox. Task settings. Do you want all of your notebooks to be saved so you can work with them offline? That's really good if you travel a lot and don't have the internet with you, although it will consume memory on your device. You have passcode protection, a calendar link, and support. This is where, you know, if you have a problem with Evernote and, and you want to submit a report to the uh, Evernote support folks, they will ask to see your activity log. This is where you get it. And you can also find a link to support under this uh, tab. And finally, this is where you force a sync if you ever need it. I was showing these screens to one of my clients recently, and despite the fact that she's used Evernote for some time, she wasn't aware of these screens or how to get there. Well, now you know.